Guys, I really suck at this. You know what? I apologize in advance if like the thumbnail sucks, okay? Because like, I don't know how to do this. Hey everybody, today we are going to do a Daiso Snacks taste test. Daiso is a store that sells everything for $2 and it's from Japan. I love to shop at Daiso. I feel like every time I go to Daiso, I never come back out with just one item. If I go in meant to buy just one item, I would come up with like 20 over items and I would wonder how did I spend so much in Daiso? As much as I wanted to go see all the other owls of amazing stuff that Daiso has, I only went to the snack section just so that I won't overspend and just so that I will be very disciplined today and only get the snacks. Let's go! I spent $20 in Daiso and we got 10 snacks so we're gonna dig in and see which one is worth it which one is not, which one is nice, which one is not, which one is worth to eat it, which one is not. Does which one is not sound a bit weird to you but... Okay, you know what? We're gonna start with this snack. This is the fried rice cracker seasoned with sweet soya sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. I always call it soya sauce. Who says it's soya sauce when it's soy sauce? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why do I always call it soya sauce? Where did the soya come from? Is it soy sauce? Is it always soy sauce? Have I been always calling it soya sauce when it's soy sauce? Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Okay, the fact that it says here, sweet soy sauce makes me wonder like is it gonna be salty or sweet if it's soy sauce it should be salty they say it's sweet soy sauce it should be sweet and salty like pfft. anyway we're gonna give it a try and see whether it's really nice oh my god oh my god it smells so nice it smells like like rice crackers i mean it is rice crackers but it really smells so so good i quite like snacks that comes in a little tray because when you slide out the tray right you don't actually have to stretch your hand in to get the last piece okay let's go try it Mm, it is rice cracker, so it tastes like rice cracker. The sweet soy sauce thing, I think it's not say very sweet. It's still towards the salty side. It's like dipping a rice cracker into soy sauce and eating it. I think, I don't mind it, but you must always remember this snack costs two dollars. Although it looks like quite a big packet, it's not that big. If you're gonna buy potato chips outside, it will cost less than two dollars. But I mean, you don't get the variety of rice crackers in Giant. Verdict: This is nice. Still okay for $2 uh. It's not the kind of snack that I would immediately puke In fact, all my snacks I wouldn't puke because I get the nicer ones Like guys, why waste your money on getting snacks that you wouldn't like? I'm gonna eat these after this whole video Why get a snack that I won't finish, right? Next, we have another rice cracker in soy sauce flavor um, I guess the only difference is the shape of it is in a circular disc But it says here that it's fried rice cracker with soy sauce So I'm pretty sure the taste should be about the same But I'm just gonna try it just to see whether it's really the same or it's not Which is nicer Oh uh, yeah, this is really in the circular disc This smells a lot stronger than the other rice cracker And it's quite big for one piece But they don't really have that much And it doesn't come in a tray Okay, they taste different. Like, okay, I get it. This tastes like soya sauce or so. Okay, my taste buds are confused. Packaging wise, although this feels right, the cracker is pretty darn good. I would say the cracker is more crunchier in this. Like, the other one is quite like just a crunch. This crunch, I really feel the crunch, you see. The thing is, they both are soya sauce flavored, but their flavor is different. I quite like this flavor though. I'm not sure what is the difference. I guess this tastes sweeter, even though that says sweet soy sauce and this didn't say sweet soy sauce. I'm gonna just taste both, okay? Just to see which is nicer. This is actually softer. It doesn't have the crunch. The taste on this is a little bit more bland. Which is why when I opened this packet, the smell was a lot stronger. The taste on this really has an impact rather than the other one. Mm. I would say I honestly enjoyed this one more because um, the taste the crunchiness, everything is better in this but the packaging is better in this they have a tray like I'm so obsessed with trays now so border and rice crackers apparently they are different now we know next we have the Jagabi lookalike fries but it's not in a cup it's in a, just a packet form it's like french fries you know the fried french fries the crispy french fries that Jagabi has I'm pretty sure it was the seaweed flavor one that I was obsessed with this is just one packet for $2 this is quite small you know if you compare this with the previous packaging right this is really tiny Like $2 seriously and mostly it's air because like the entire top is nothing It's only the bottom half, this part here that has fries I'm just gonna try it, see whether it's worth the $2 and like whether it can even compete with the Jagabi one. Oh my god it smells like, you know the Korean honey butter chips? It smells like that, wait this is a what? Fried potato butter taste Oh no wonder I can smell the butter inside Okay 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 That makes sense, it really smells like butter in here why do I taste fish in this? Oh my god, wait, is that fish? Mm-mm, no fish, it's cheese. 
you know what, there's this Chef Ramsay always have this taste test challenge thing where they blindfold you and they make sure you cannot hear anything and you just eat what they put into your mouth and you have to guess what's that right, I think I'll fail that because I have no idea what I'm eating like most of the time, I have to see it before I know oh this is supposed to taste this way and my brain like processes it if not, I will be like this like, do I taste fish inside when there is it? Probably it's cheese. I think the salty taste that I taste is from cheese. So you know what? You can do a brine taste test challenge on me. Put cheese and I'll tell you it's fish. Put fish and I'll tell you it's cheese. Mm. How interesting is that? Okay, anyway, verdict on this, it doesn't win the Jagabi one. I think the seasoning on this is very, very minimal. It's just enough for you to know that you're eating not just plain fries. It's a bit bland, yeah. That's the, that's the reason why. Honestly, $2 for so little fries inside, right? I don't think it's worth it. So next we have another snack. Umaiwa. Umaiwa. Umaiwa? Umaiwa. Umaiwa yasai salad. This was recommended by my colleague quite a while back. She said that this was nice. It's like a salad vegetable snack. This is kind of like the super ring shape. Let's try it. It smells like... I cannot think of any other thing to compare it with. You just open it and you just know that it's going to taste salty because it smells very salty. Okay, I'm not making any sense right now. You know what? I'm just going to eat. I'm just going to try it. It tastes really good. Very, very mild heat inside, but it has mainly very salty taste. You know the pika vegetable chip, the squarish, squarish kind, the vegetable one, it tastes like this. Very, very pleasant, salty taste. But it's a lot of quantity inside here. I don't think you can finish the whole thing without getting sick of it. Every single drink that I ate packs a punch. The taste just bursts in your mouth the moment you eat it. It's not very hard crunchy. It's a soft crunchy kind of feeling. You should really go try it at least once in your life. Finally, we have the last salty snack. So we are gonna end our salty journey with this lightly salted potato chips in a can. And it's actually a very tiny tin compared to like Pringles. Lightly salted, I'm gonna just give myself a mental prep that this is not gonna be so salty. So let's try it out. You know what? The good thing is, it's resealable. Hey, it really looks like Pringles. Like the whole entire shape is a Pringle. Okay, it tastes different. The chip itself, tastes more potato -y than Pringles. They are not kidding when they say it's slightly salted. This is like a bland potato chip, but actually inside it really legit looks like potato chip. And I'm not kidding you, this one really no taste. Huh? This is like for the healthy people. So that brings us to the end of the salty snacks. Now let's go on to the sweet ones. So here, we have the Harvest Caramel Taste of Almond Biscuit. I think it comes in packet because I can see it from the corner here. It looks like it comes in a packet of four. Yeah, so it comes in quite a lot of packets. I think eight packets in this. So two dollars, I think quite okay lah, not so bad. It looks like there is a bit of sugar bits on the biscuit itself. It's not as thin as I thought it is lah, okay. It's still quite thick lah. It smells... Oh, it smells... So almondy. Oh my god, it smells like a very sweet treat. It smells like, you know the Christmas butter cookies that comes in a tin? When you just open it, it smells like this. I can taste the almond. I like sweet treats so much. This is sweet, I love it. My verdict is it's nice. I can taste the caramel, I can taste the almond. I taste the almond first before I taste the caramel, but the caramel lingers. It's not too sweet, it's not like sickeningly sweet. There's a little bit of sugar bits inside, so I don't think that you should eat face down. The other side has no sugar bits. So if you don't want the sugar bits to drop, it looks like it's stuck to it. But I'm just gonna eat it face up. This is the kind of biscuit that you eat four pieces, you'll be full already. Because it comes in little packets, you can drop it in your bag and bring it around with you. Eat it whenever you're hungry. I think it's really worth it. Next, we have the caramel corn. This is something that almost everybody knows. I grew up eating this. Give me a second. I need to... <coughs> Did you just say bless you to me? I always eat the corn bit, but I never touch the peanut. I just happen to really want to eat it. So I just bought it. Where are all the peanuts? Like, are you guys seeing this? There is no peanuts at all in this. Where is the peanuts? Where? Where are the peanuts? Okay, you know what? Then again, I don't eat the peanuts. So that's fine with me. But like, those who open it, hoping to see like a bit of peanuts inside, they are going to be super darn disappointed. Seriously, this is so sad. It smells like very nostalgic. I can smell the peanut inside this. Though. Although the packet seems small, it's quite full to the brim. Since I don't eat the peanut, I'm not complaining here that they don't have the peanut in this. So I'm just like, gonna just eat it. Super soft. It's like it dissolves in your mouth with the caramel like mm, coating your whole mouth. If you have never tried it before, I suggest you go and try it. But this is quite sweet. It's sickeningly sweet. In the first few mouths, you'll be like, oh my god, I love it so much. But after that, you're just like, this, this is so sickening. I mean, I still like it. Lah. Next, we have a snack that is not exactly a Daiso snack. 
but it's sold in Daiso. So you know what? Give or take, it's a Daiso snack. It's Meiji Yen Yen. $2 for this. Oh my god, I don't mind. Because it comes in a little cute packet. I used to eat it in a cup. I don't know whether y'all got it before. But now it comes in a little packet form. So there are four packets inside. I have a soft spot for snacks that I used to eat. So cute! The packaging is so cute! Oh my god! This is the kind of packaging that you can give to your kid to like go to school or camping or go to picnic. You can give for like, I don't know, children's day or Christmas or whatever. It's so cute, seriously. Let's open it and try it out. So it comes in like a tray with like short little sticks. I used to remember the sticks were super long. Chocolates in the other container. So I'm just gonna try it. It smells exactly like the Yen Yen, the cup one. Exactly how I remember it to be. This is really childhood memory. Childhood snack, guys. The stick is not so long, so it doesn't always break. They hurt all our prayers, so they came out with this new and improved Meiji. This is amazing. So, next we have sweets, like really not just sweet snacks, but sweet, sweet. This is milk soft candy. I think it's chewy. I like chewy sweets that are really, really chewy and hard in the start, and then it chews off that mentos. Inside, it comes in quite a, quite a few tinier packets. I don't know how many pieces are there inside, it doesn't really say, but I'm I'm just going to open one and try it. There's a little cow on the packaging. So cute. Mm -mm. Milk tons, you know. Don't have the bounciness, you know. Mm, it's kind of like it's so soft that your mouth is just, I don't know what I'm chewing. And it's nothing that I'm chewing because it just becomes nothing when you chew it. I don't like this kind of chewiness. I think some people do like it though. It just sticks to your teeth because it's just so soft. Taste-wise, it tastes exactly like the Wang Wang milk candy. So if you like that candy, you can give this a try. Yeah, I know the Wang Wang milk candy is very hard to find already. Tried finding it, couldn't find it, gave up. If you're a fan of the Wang Wang milk candy, which is a harder version of like this candy, you can give this a go lah because the taste is the same, but it's just that the texture is different. So finally, we have the sunflower choco ball. This is a snack that I used to eat when I was a lot younger. It's basically like sunflower seeds coated in chocolate. It's like M and M's but with sunflower seeds. Yep, exactly like how I remember it to be very cluttered, very compact. It's like a lot of little sunflower seeds in this. It's the kind that you cannot eat just one piece. You usually eat a whole mouthful kind. The chocolate is like the M&M &M kind of chocolate. You can definitely taste the chocolate and the sunflower. Because it comes in many many different colours, right? I used to like divide out all the colours and eat only based on the colours. I was that lame. Mm -hmm. But this is a very very tiny packet. So if I were to fold it based on the quantity, it's pretty much just this much for $2. Seriously. Verdict, it's still nice. Definitely, I would recommend it. That's all that we have! Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and I hope that you enjoyed it and if you do, give it a thumbs up Leave a comment down below on what you think I should get from Daiso the next time I go Thank you so much for supporting me and do hit the subscribe button if you want to see more As always, dream big and stay positive I'll see you next time, bye! What do you think will happen like if I eat like the sweet and the salty together? Mm -mm. Sweet and salty don't go together Till I get up, time is barely on our side